Well, I got a new truck. Just kidding, that's not my truck. But uh, it's been a while since I updated everybody. I was just kind of waiting to see what was going on. Last video I posted my truck, I broke down. It was uh, basically like stuck in neutral. So uh, what it was, um, I got it towed to the Kenworth dealership. So it was like $550 later. <clears throat> and uh, the diagnostic is an ECA problem, which is an electronic uh, clutch actuator or electronic control actuator. I think it tells the gear of the transmission, you know, like which gear to go in. But the technician said from his experience, it's not just going to be the ECA. It's uh, going to be the actual clutch itself. That uh, his experience, the clutches usually go bad uh, on these transmissions, on the automatic in fuller. And of course, the yeah, clutch is not covered under the warranty from the transmissions. So, it was $2,700 to replace the ECA, which that was option one, or if you go to option number two, like the uh, technician said, he thinks it's the clutch as well, then it would have been $5,100 for the clutch. So if I did both, it would be almost $8,000 to fix it, both of them. So I said, I don't want to fix one and do the other. Uh, later when I break down, I said, go ahead and do both of them. So he said, okay, ordered the parts. And uh, they said, oh, it'll be ready Friday on the weekend. So I was like, that's not bad. Uh, it was like, maybe I uh, broke down, I think like Sunday. Yeah, I broke down Sunday and I got towed in and they said we'll be ready on uh, Friday. So it wasn't too bad. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like a weekend. Uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, like five days. Not bad at all. And uh, yeah, I have to count on my fingers like that. And... Uh, so I went Friday. They said it's not ready yet. Uh, we got everything out, transmission, this, that. So we're just waiting uh, for the parts, this, that. So uh, it'll be Monday because we're a day behind. Because last Monday before that was Memorial Day. So they said we're a day behind, so it'll be Monday. I said, okay, no problem. So I came Monday and they said, uh, oh, the driver did the clutch, changed the clutch and everything but it's still giving the code for the ECA. So uh, do you want us to go ahead and do that? Because you can't do anything without that. I was like, what do you mean? I already told you to replace both of them. Oh, okay, we're sorry, we didn't know. Uh, we have to order the parts, so we'll be here Tuesday. I said, okay, and how long is it gonna take? Oh, it takes two hours to do it. So it'll be like maybe Tuesday around like three or five. So, okay. So then uh, Tuesday I called uh, three o'clock. And I asked him, you know, his truck is ready. They said, but the part accidentally got delivered at a different location. So we have to wait on the part to come and it's gonna take two hours to install it. So, uh, no, I caught it three, yeah, three. So it'd be like five o'clock it was ready. So I was like, okay, five o'clock. So I was like, what time you guys close? Well, we close at seven. I said, okay. He said, better be ready way before seven. So it'd be ready to pick up. I said, okay. So I went back, 6.45, because they closed at seven, nobody never called me. And I went there, my truck was still on the lift. And uh, I said, hey man, what's up with the truck? I said, it's still on the lift. Yeah, I know you don't want to hear it. I know we told you it was going to be ready, but uh, he did everything, dialed it in, recalibrate, recalibrated clutch, this, that. So basically it's going to be in the morning, 8.30 in the morning. Come back at 8.30 in the morning, going to be ready. 100% it's gonna be ready. I said, okay. So then I uh, came back, it was ready, I picked it up. But after they took off all the core charges and all that, I ended up paying like seven grand for a clutch and an ECA. So hopefully I'm good to go. I just got a load from Jefferson, Georgia to Virginia drop and then to Maryland, drop off in Maryland, some Kubota tractors from Jefferson, Georgia. The rate wasn't too bad. 
Uh, I do have three drops, two drops in Virginia and one in PA. And it's easy drops, like 20, 30 minute drops. These just trackers, they're gonna load them off my truck right away. But uh, yeah, it was like 600, I think 615 miles and uh, got 2,900 rate. So not too bad, but just trying to get out on the road. It's like uh, $4 and something a mile with loaded miles if you add that, but it was close to my house, about an hour away pickup, so. So that's what's been going on with me. What about you guys? Let me know uh, if you have any questions, just comment.